All right, now welcome your next contestant. Put your hands together for Lacey Biller. Give a man a hand, would you please? That's what I'm talking about. What up, y'all? I'm Lacey, or as some of you may know me from CB Radio, LDog502. What's up? Good to see some of y'all again. I, I, so I got a CB radio a few weeks ago, and I kind of am all over. You, it's kind of cool. You never know what you're going to hear and what kind of conversations you're going to overhear. But the thing about radio is that it's kind of easy to get obsessed, you know? One moment you're like, wow, this, this, this weather sounds so clear. Wow. And the next minute, it's a random Tuesday night, and you're getting a shout out from a pirate radio DJ on shortwave radio <laughs> named DJ Big Witty. <laughs> Coming to you live from my mama's basement. Happy Fourth of July. <laughs> but you know, these pirate radio stations, they're illegal. And so the FCC kicked in his door about five minutes later. But you know, I gotta figure out what radio it has because it sounded great. I could hear every splitter. Good to know. See, it, it, and I got kind of sucked into it really quickly. You think you're just going along like a normal person doing a little research. And then all of a sudden, it's a Thursday night like tonight and you can't wait to get back home to go back to that radio station <laughs> and see if he's gonna be on tonight. Cause when it, when the shortwave radio, when the sun goes down, it, the interference does too. And you can hear stations all over the world. It's really cool. Um, so I, I peaked early, I got a shout out. And see, listen, I, I'm a big Donna Summer fan, y'all. Hey, who am I Donna Summer crew? That's what I thought. See, I knew you all would understand my predicament because, you see, if he gives me another shout out tonight, y'all, from his prison cell, I, I will have a dream, a, achieved my dream because, you see, he'll have wrote me a letter on the radio. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. It's it's so good to be out and see people. I'm glad it's getting warmer, but you know now we've got all these little birds and geese to deal with. Y'all been seeing all these? Uh. Y'all, I'm here to tell you they petty. It's petty. It's real petty. I'm gonna warn you. This is what happened to me. I put one meme on Facebook. I put one bird meme on Facebook. I was going to a show in Indiana a few days later and one of them dive-bombed my windshield. <laughs> Sent one of their little goons after me. <laughs> Tried to cancel me. <laughs> Snowflakes, all of them. <laughs> and see, y'all are laughing because you know, but this show is gonna be over in less than an hour. <laughs> And I'm gonna go out to my, I'm gonna go out to the parking lot and there's gonna be a crater where my car was. <laughs> how am I, how am I supposed, what am I supposed to say to the insurance adjuster about that? Yeah, hello, yes ma'am. I need to make a change to my policy. Yeah, you see the bird, I was doing a comedy show and the birds in Louisville they, they pooped all over my car and it burst into flames in the parking lot. And now I need to remove it from my policy, please. Which birds? All of them. The entire Louisville bird community here in Kentucky, ma'am. You know. See, I, and here's the thing. I'm just, because I like y'all, y'all are cool, I can tell. I'm just, I'm just giving you a piece of advice. If they have to put you on hold to laugh at you, your premium's going up before the end of the call. I, I was in J-Town, and I was waiting at a red light, 
and I laughed so hard in a Vine video playing only in my mind. I wish this was a joke. <laughs> I, my, I laughed so hard that my foot slipped off the brake and I actually tapped the bumper of this woman in front of me. And so we get out, insure, we do the insurance, and, and, and we're wrapping up, and she asks me, and she says, was it funny? You see, I drive with my windows down most of the time. And that's when I realized what she heard. She heard and she saw coming in her rear view, a young woman looking straight ahead, not down at her phone, not looking around, laughing so hard her glasses fogged up. <laughs> and absolutely nothing. <laughs> and that's what she heard. She heard me laughing at her from the next car over. Then I had to call and, and explain it to the insurance adjuster. <laughs> I had to and go into detail more than once about how my car hit this woman because of a Vine video in my mind. <laughs> they don't even have a form for that, y'all. Y'all are real cool, so I, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you with this. Um, I was on my way here, and I don't know what's up. It, it, the full moon recently, you can really tell. There's this little dude in a moped in front of me, and I'm, we're pulling off from a red light, and this little dude, he picks, he drops a firework down off his little scooter and into the road right in front of me. Now, you see what he didn't know is that I am the champion of Mario Kart 64. <laughs> Let me tell you, I hit his with so many little bananas. I fixed his whole potassium deficiency. He, I got him to get, he don't even know. But this is just my gift from me to him. And you all are the gift from you to me. Thank you guys for coming out tonight. You all are a wonderful audience. Thank you so much. And we are going to be bringing folks back to the stage in a moment, but, or I can just, uh, yeah. <laughs> L-Dog 502 out. Peace. Give it up for Lacey Miller. All right.